Hospitals are so busy during the pandemic in fear of catching the COVID-19 infection. Well, that has many Americans staying away from hospitals, even if they have urgent health concerns. So here to talk about when not to delay care under any circumstances, as well as how certain atypical COVID presentations may require urgent care, is our Nine Health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. So, Pyle, let's start with atypical presentations. What are we talking about there? So Tom, this is a respiratory virus and normally with respiratory viruses, you get symptoms in the lungs and systemic symptoms. So things like shortness of breath, cough, uh, fever, loss of appetite, malaise, muscle aches. These are the types of things we see with, with viruses like the flu. Now this virus can certainly have those typical symptoms or the, the symptoms that are what you usually see, and that's the most common. But we've also learned that it can have a lot of atypical symptoms. So let me give you some examples. We've heard about loss of taste and smell as one of the atypical symptoms for what you know, might be a presentation of this virus. But there was a girl in, in Michigan who just presented with headache and she ended up having encephalitis, which is actually inflammation of the brain. There's also been case reports of people presenting with what's called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an ascending paralysis. So starting from the feet upwards, you start to lose control of your muscles, first in your legs and then up in your arms. And that can also be an atypical presentation of this virus. So, you know, what we're seeing is that it can present in a number of different ways. And when we were in medical school, we were always taught that when you hear hoofs, you think about horses, not zebras. But when it comes to this virus, you think about both horses and zebras. So the message to really kind of put in the back of your mind out there, atypical symptoms can be uncommon, but really anything should set off alarm bells during this pandemic that it could be a presentation of the virus. Be aware, keep your mind open. We've been talking about urgent conditions and people not going to the hospital. So we've talked about things like heart attack and stroke. What, what are the urgent conditions that you don't want to postpone a visit to the hospital because you're afraid of possibly seeing or contracting COVID? Yeah, those are big ones. So what we're seeing is a huge drop in heart attacks coming to the hospital, huge drop in strokes. We're seeing people not filling their prescriptions for diabetes at the pharmacy, yet they're not showing up at the hospital. We're seeing less pregnant women coming to the hospital than before. And we know that this is not because these people are not getting sick, but actually because they're trying to avoid the hospital. So I really want to reassure everybody that you know, as much as we say try to avoid elective procedures and reasons to go to the hospital, it is safe to go to a hospital right now if you have something urgent going on. And urgent things to think about could present with symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, fainting, severe headache, uh, you know, stroke type symptoms like losing strength. So if any of those types of things are happening, please don't delay going to the hospital because you're going to turn a small problem into a big one by not getting care right away. So, so is there advice then for high risk groups or seniors about about how to manage this if they do have these type of uh, those feelings that they're going they they really should be getting medical help? You know, I'm glad you asked me about seniors because we're learning more recently as well, uh, based on some anecdotal case reports that have come out, that seniors can also have those very atypical presentations, and their atypical presentations are actually different. So seniors have a different immune response to infections. They can also have problems like dementia, memory problems, prior stroke, all of these these things can complicate their ability to report the symptoms and to feel them. So some seniors that are presenting with COVID are actually just having very subtle symptoms like having less energy, lack of appetite, falling, sleeping more than usual. So if you have a senior in your house, you need to keep those radars up and really look out for any change in behavior because that could actually suggest a COVID infection. Yeah, and time is always of the essence. What about for younger people though? Uh, Obviously, one of the problems when we talk about younger people is it seems like they have that uh, that younger people disease, I call it, that idea that you are uh, it, bulletproof, <laughs> that nothing can get you. Yes, they do have that very commonly. And it's actually the opposite problem with younger people. So they can actually present with strokes as their first symptom. Wow. This is a case series that just came out of Mount Sinai yesterday that showed that five people presented with strokes all under the age of 50 and that COVID can actually increase your risk as a young person of having a stroke by sevenfold. And two out of five of these young people didn't even know they were having strokes and delayed presenting to the hospital. So definitely keep that in mind. The younger person disease is a phenomena that you don't want to succumb to for sure. All right, Dr. Coley, it's always good to talk with you. Thanks again for our visit today.